This is the Computer Worker series. This series is near and dear to my heart. I came to yoga because of work-related, well, let's face it, life-related stress. I worked for over 25 years in the high-tech world and sitting at a desk, working on the computer, turned my body into one big knot that I just couldn't unwind. I'm 56 years old and I feel that yoga gave me back the years that stress took away. The next sequence is for anyone who works at a desk or uses their hands, arms, and upper body for extended periods of time. The first pose in this sequence is for our forearms. So I want you to take your left hand out, turn your left palm up, and we're gonna take the fingers of the left hand and push them down towards the floor as we push the left palm out. So you should feel a really good stretch right here in the inner forearm. This is so good, especially if you work on the computer a lot. And then we'll do the right hand, push the fingers down, really keep that elbow nice and straight and push the palm away from you. That's what you want to do, get length here in that inner elbow. Perfect. And then release. Now take your hands together, turn them back to back, make a fist, and then pull your knuckles in like you're really tightening that fist. Now you're stretching the other side of your forearms. This, especially when you work on the mouse, gets really, really tight. So take your arms out now and take them all the way out to the side. Big, big stretch. Really squeeze those knuckles in so you're really stretching those forearms. Good. And bring them all the way back. Good. And then shake it out. Very good. Now the next thing we're going to do is work on the elbow. Do you realize when you use the mouse or any kind of small motor movements, you're usually holding your hand like this. If you're writing, if you're drawing, if you're painting, even when you're gardening or knitting. And what you're doing is you're kind of using these muscles as stabilizers and they're not meant to be stable for hours and hours. That's why everything gets really tense. And a lot of times I bet you get a little tingle right here on this elbow. So that's the start of uh, a nerve getting pinched there, and sometimes that nerve gets pinched in, of course, your carpal tunnel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this whole pathway here. So you're gonna take your arm up, take the left hand underneath your arm, and we're gonna bring that arm in, and then flick it out. And in, and flick it, good, and in, and flick it. That's straightening out that elbow, opening up the space for your nerve to run. So left hand is out, prop up your arm with your hand, and then you're taking it in and flicking it, and out, and in, good, and then release. Now we'll go the other way. So now it's gonna be the right arm out again, take your hand underneath, and this time it comes up, and it stretches out. And you're flicking, that's the technical term, it's flicking, it's very beneficial. Good, other side, and take it, flick it, take it, flick it, and one more time, and flick it. Good, so when you're working and you're tense, Make sure to open up some space for that energy to move in your arms.